All you tubers of Desire 3 Hell Gear, welcome back to Mighty Number no. 9. So, do a recap. We got electricity, brandish. Okay. From the concept art, this dude has swords. So, what is more effective using a bum rush? Swords or electricity? I want to say electricity, but something's telling me the swords. And I was right, it's the swords. Okay, fine. I don't know how the hell a bum rush is going to work on this dude, but I'll take it. Mick, help me out here, man. Yeah, it's Mick. I got eyes on brand. But getting through these nuts so cars ain't easy. This could turn into a 50 car pile up any minute. Hate to ask, but I could use some help. Help's on the way, homeboy. You are all set, then? Hmm. Bum rush against swords. And I'm on a highway. Hmm. Hope this isn't like the highway to hell. Anyways, thanks for tuning in as always, folks. All likes and subscribes are greatly appreciated. And, and I'm glad you're enjoying the run. Brand. 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 I'm warning you back. Stay away. Brad, wait! I'm going after him, Professor. Affirmative, Beck. Just be sure to mind your step traversing those vehicles. Something about Mighty Number no. Seven's voice. Could he be? Okay, you can change direction. Cool. Okay. That sucked. Nice. I needed that. Come in. All right. Nice clear. I got a nice clear. That's a first. That's the first time I've ever gotten a nice clear. Smash. Here we go. <laughs> Smash. All three, I like that. Thanks. That's more like it. Here we, here we go. Bring it on. You know what? As fun as... Hmm. Alright, cool. Alright, here we go. You know what? This makes this stage a whole lot more <laughs> manageable, in my opinion. Mike, you're right. a it might affect visibility. Be careful. You know what? I think I'm gonna have have Abby's power on hand because I can tell just by ooh. Just for instances like this, 
Mm, press the wrong damn buttons. Please let me keep my energy tank. Please let me keep the energy tank. I made the checkpoint, but I would like to keep the energy tank. Come on. Who actually went after Bran first? Let me know in the comment section below. And I don't get to keep my energy tank. Okay, fine. Oh, come on! Damn! Ugh! Alright, gonna have to change the button config now. Because that's starting to piss me off. Screw you. Bring it on. Please have an extra man. Well, that's help. Maybe I'll need this. Yep, I'm gonna need this. Man, I could go for some help right now. And there's Chip, too. Thank you, Chip. I appreciate that, homie. Now, if I can get an extra life. Warning. Erratic movement detected in several nearby robot controlled vehicles. Great. I thought you was going to be trouble. I'll stop it. Out of the way. Well, thank you. That's more like Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, I hit that one too? Wow. Oh man, don't do that ever. I told you. Stay away. Okay, fine. Oh, I should have dashed. Damn. Tried not to be too cocky. Landed on the highway. Oh, yeah. Highway to Hell reference. I'm going to use that, too, when I title this episode. But, make no mistake about it, Abby's the way to go here. So, if you've got Aviator's Fly Save... Bring it on. 
good, guy. Good, 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 good. Here we go. Bring it on. Sounds like it. Well, I'm only gonna have one shot at this, so I wanna try to do this all in one take. My blade's hunger. Your blade's hunger? Why, back? Why won't you kill up? I'm here to help. Come to save you, Brand. No closer. One more step, and my blades will have their way with you. Brand, tell me what's happening. Sword man for real. I can't control myself. If you want to save me, you must destroy me. Must destroy the brandisher of swords. Interesting. Remind me of, of um duo from Gundam Wing and his death side. Slash, slash, slash. Beck, I, I thank you. You're welcome, dude. Clear. I don't know what was more annoying, fighting you or going through the stage. Actually, I take that back. The stage was more annoying. Ugh. Man, these D's are killing me. More than the hazards are. Swords! I get swords! Or I get just one sword. Looking like zero, a zero wannabe and whatnot. Alright, there's gotta be some plot line. I'm one more left. What in the blue blazes? Well, you mean this whole robot rampage? It is all my fault. Indeed. Or, more specifically, the fault of a robot I developed long ago. Let's hear this one. CDN 1201 Trinity. I designed her to evolve by assimilating other robots' capabilities. Interesting. I found her custom scripts in the code we recovered from each of the Haywire Mighty Numbers. Wow. The structure is clever, concise, it's brilliant. There's no doubt it's my help. But, Will, how is that possible? The Cherry Dynamics shut down the Trinity Project ages ago. Bam! In fact, it 
Dr. Blackwell himself who stopped it, wasn't it? Back when he was Cherry Dine CTO. I always thought that project was the reason you left Cherry to come work with us and make back here. Blackwell only saw the dangers. He never understood the potential. Professor? Sir? Are you okay? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Beck. Fine, more or less. Thank you. Zonda, I need some time to think. Can you handle Beck and the remaining mighty numbers? Uh, um, sure. Sure. Why does this remind me of something that has happened before? Oh, now I remember. I know exactly what this is like. Go ahead and choose your next target. Okay, how many people have actually seen, and this has nothing to do with Mega Man or Mighty Number no. 9, but Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Specifically, Power Rangers RPM. If you had seen Power Rangers RPM, you would have known that Dr. K, who was supposedly a sheltered genius, wanted to get out of the world. And as a result of trying to get out, she creates the Vengex virus, which ends up tearing up the entire world and she has to make programs to stop the Vengex virus. Apparently that's what's going on with Professor White here. So it's his tech that was done by Cherry Dine and old boy Blackwell came through. I knew Cherry Dine had something to do with this crap. I knew it and I bet you that Graham Bastard's the reason why he's putting the blame on old boy. He doesn't want to take the fall himself. Textbook suit. All right, let's see how to rock brandishes sword. Normal cut. Press the attack button for a quick slash. This does not consume attack energy. Stance. Hold the attack button to enter stance mode, and your attacks change to blade techniques. Okay. Blade Technique Spinning Slash. Release the attack button in stance mode to unleash a high speed flurry of attacks to either side. Falling Slash. Releasing the attack button mid-air while pressing down will make your slash straight downward. Ah, swordplay. Wonderful thing, if not hazardous. Blade air attacks will cut projectiles out of the air, nullifying them. Some attacks are too powerful to nullify. Blade techniques leave your opponent leave you open afterward, but it's possible to dash cancel out of them. Now that's good to know. Alright, so this is going to be some really refined sword play. I guess this is probably one of the reasons why they said Brandish's sword that Beck gets is one of the more useful items. Well, next episode, we cut Dinah down to, tr down to size. I think that's what they're going to call her, Dinah. Either that or Tron. <laughs> if they call her Tron, it'll be a Tron Bond reference. Raise your thumbs if you enjoyed this one. Now let me take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.